at this time it's very important for Americans to understand that they're facing a huge threat. I mean, uh, I don't want, uh, nobody wants America to become as Europe was transformed. I mean, Europe, Europe is becoming a disaster with this mass immigration, with this so-called multiculturalism, which is erase, erasing European culture and just uh, taking the input culture. So it's very dangerous what we're facing now in Europe and we really need America to stay America and to keep on being America. Meaning that the experience that you had for eight years with Barack Obama has to be stopped as soon as possible. And we have, I mean, as a, as a European, as someone who cares about the peace in the world, I think it's really important for you to stop voting for crazy people who are really, um, I would say, uh, creating a big turmoil in Europe, in the Muslim world, in the Middle East, and even in Asia. So it's very, very uh, uh, dangerous for us and for the rest of the world to have America weak. We need to have a real exceptional America. We need to have a strong America. And uh, this is, I would say, urgent. How about the media who's been uh, exposed through uh, Ben Rhodes as uh uh, duping, fooling the, the American public through the complicit liberal press and, uh, and selling this uh, Iran deal, and getting uh, all Western countries to now uh, have a detente with, with Iran and, are, and they have not given up their quest for uh, the destruction of Israel or exporting the Islamic Revolution. Yeah, well, that's dangerous. I mean, uh, the Iranian deal is uh, the Iran deal is uh, is another uh, reason for being uh, really upset of because of what happened in America and because of what happened with the uh, extremely uh, liberal media outlets. They really uh, duped people. They really fooled the people, and they really um, faked the information. And that's really what, for me. As an expert on media manipulation, it's really problematic. And you know, what has been sold to the American public, to the European public, with the Aaron deal, is a real fabrication. It's a hoax. Do you feel that the, uh, the, the, foreign, uh, the, uh, the, the international press are uh, willing to, uh, to sell Israel out, even for lies? I would say yes, but it's not only Israel, it's our Western culture, our Western values, I mean, they want to give it up. I don't know why. I, to me, that's really amazing. I think they've been bought. I think there's a lot of corruption here. There is a lot of Arab money. But that's insane. What we're seeing when you read the New York Times, when you read the LA Times, when you read the French press, when you read the British press, it's absurd. And it's really, uh, really, the, the world is upside down and they're reversing the truth and they're putting the blame on the, on the victims and they're never admitting the terrorists, that the terrorists are coming from the Muslim world. They're never admitting, uh, you know, for example, what, what happened in San Bernardino to me was insane. Instead of saying the guy did it because he was a Muslim, they say, oh, the problem is with uh, NRA, which is allowing people who have guns everywhere. So it was not the guy who holds the gun, it was the gun who's responsible, you know? It's crazy. Oh, the French media, it's... Uh, Similar? It's even worse. I mean, it's, a, it's a propaganda, it's the worst propaganda you'll ever see. Uh, it's always lying, 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 lying. And when it comes to Israel, the lies are even worse than that.